Okay, so uh, hi, uh, my name is Evangeline Ho, and I'm an eighth grader at Open Window School in Bellevue. And my question is, um, so there are many states that are running out of like ventilators and medical supplies and like nurses and doctors. So how is Washington State's medical su system keeping up with the virus? Like, uh, like the medical staff, the supplies, and how are nurses and doctors doing? Ah, great question. Thank you. And I, I can tell you that I am uh, I'm not in charge of all that, but definitely very close to it. Um, so the first thing that I'll take you back about three, four weeks ago, maybe even as much as six weeks ago, the governor you know, when he declared a state of emergency, what happens when that when he does that is it makes our emergency operation center, which is a state run organization of a whole bunch of different entities, people started getting together and started trying to figure out how we were going to mitigate this growing virus that they had already seen happen in China and, you know, Italy and some of countries that were ahead of us. You know, how do we make that so we don't lose a lot of people's lives that are exposed to it. And then of course you're all aware that the Kirkland nursing home really put Washington front and center in that uh, outbreak here in the United States. So um, when Governor Inslee started doing that emergency order, um, the Washington National Guard and our emergency operations center started working immediately. And the first thing they started working on was trying to get as many of those supplies as possible. And you've probably heard from news reports that that's the problem. We have a shortage of masks worldwide, but definitely here in Washington. We have a shortage of test kits. We have a shortage of just capacity to process those tests. Um, and so the Emergency Operations Center actually works to prioritize getting those, those supplies and equipment to hospitals and to any kind of healthcare providers so that they can have that protection. And um, it's a daily effort and they're working hard with private industry to create more ventilators um, and just get those supplies out as quickly as possible. And I can tell you that's another discussion we're having in the elections community. You know, how if we run an election and we need to have masks for our employees, we're taking away masks for healthcare workers. And you know, which is more important. I, I think people's lives probably is a little bit more important than running an election right now. So those are the kind of decisions that are being made. But I assure you that they're working very hard with federal partners and really trying to exhaust every place where they can get um, those needed supplies. And I can tell you that uh, corporations around the world are also trying to spool up things. I, I think all of the major manufacturers of automobiles, for example, from Ford to Ferrari, are working to uh, produce ventilators. So it's, uh, I think it's bringing people together in a really positive way to try to solve this crisis. And we're working really hard and it's scary. And we have some really good people with really good skill sets that are trying to make sure that we're all safe. So great question. Thank you.